The morning feeder parade passed Ardoin without major incident, but bans did appear to breach parade's commis commission rulings there and at St Patrick's Church, where a number of bans played the sash. The Orange Order also staged a protest outside the parade's commission. The Orange Order's Ardoin feeder parade this morning began with a standoff. The parade's commission had limited the number of Loyalist supporters to 100, but the march was stopped minutes after it began because too many turned up. After tense negotiations between politicians and senior police officers, the parade was allowed to go ahead. The tensions are running very, very high and you know we want to try and get through this morning uh, as peaceably as we can. Uh, we want to have a good day on the 12th and there's no reason why there should be any trouble or violence. And, uh, but it requires goodwill on the part of everybody to make that happen. As the parade reached the Ardoin shop fronts, the Greater Ardoin Residents Collective mounted a protest. There were exchanges between bandsmen, their supporters and protesters. And while there were breaches of the Parades Commission's ruling for no music or drumbeat, there was no violence. And the violence is certainly not inevitable. We have got to this stage, you know, normally many times in the past at this stage we would be doing an entirely different interview, so I'm quite hopeful. Uh, I don't think it's helpful that there's many people going to come out uh, and protest, but that does not mean to say that violence is inevitable. For the first time, orange men have been banned from walking back along the same stretch of road on the return leg of the feeder parade later tonight. The order is planning a series of protests in opposition to the decision. Elsewhere, at another contested stretch of road in North Belfast, at least one band stopped and played the sash outside St Patrick's Catholic Church in Donegal Street. Disappointed, angry, feel betrayed. The termination smashed again. The sides played it through the chapel. The young Conway flute band coming down there. They've danced the whole way through these determinations. And once again, we see the police enforcing the determination on the people of Carrick Hill, but totally ignoring what's happening here. Not once have they stepped in to say, no, that's it, you can't do this. After the main parade got underway, Orange leaders staged a protest at the Parades Commission headquarters in Bedford Street. They attached a banner to the trees at the front of Windsor House. An unelected body, like a Parades Commission, they wield arbitrary power. We denounce that. We as Orange men at the Battle of Boyne, our forefathers, got rid of arbitrary power. And we will not accept it now, never. The cry is no surrender. The police say they're continuing to monitor developments and where there are possible breaches of the Parades Commission rulings, they will be investigated. Well, speaking at a demonstration in Risharkin, the Orange Order Grand Chaplain Mervyn Gibson rejected claims that Parades rulings had been breached at St Patrick's Church in Belfast. What we did in the comprehensive template, we clearly said what we'd be doing in all our parades and we've stuck to that and we've stuck to that today on the 12th. Uh, I noticed the, the doors were closed on the chapel, uh, it's an empty building, there had been service, the bands would have played hymns or whatever, I don't know exactly what the bands played but we've, uh, we've adhered to our comprehensive template which, which we've said we would do and we've done that. 